within some of these flash drives are some of my oldest videos. You know, ever since I gotten my laptop from PC Richard, I stopped using these flash drives. But now that I, my laptop is broken and you know it's under repair, I can't help but go back in time. Look at this one. It's a fucking finger. And I feel so nostalgic, you know, coursing through these old pictures that I had that I never bothered to delete. But now, I feel like going back in time. The time of my golden age. The time where I had 122 subscribers before it was taken away from me by a YouTuber by the name of CandyKO7. He made two other accounts, CandyKO9 and CandyKO10. I guess he can't come up with anything unique. This kid was so obsessed with me that he was willing to give up and you know friendships just for the sake to take me down and try to prevent other YouTubers like the Amazing Atheist, Mr. Repsion, Warcorp666, and many more YouTubers who is opposing um, his religion that he's grown up on as if he's some sort of defender of God. Yeah, apparently God needs protection from a retard like Candy Kale 10 And I really mean he's a fucking retard because he got kicked out of school for bad behavior, um, he admits that he has a mental disease, and the most he ever done in his life is roleplay on fucking YouTube. This is one sad motherfucker. And I am glad this YouTuber is forever gone, but I can't help but feel that I need to go back one more time to confront this person because I need to show my fans, the fans that I have today, on how stupid and ironic this YouTuber truly is. So, I figured that, you know, seeing that I still have some of his old old videos on me, I figured, why not? Why not make a video on Candy Kale 10? It's not like he's going to come back on YouTube and be like, you African fool, I'll dare you make a video while I was absent or whatever. Because, you guys need to know on how truly pathetic this person truly is. He is far worse than, I have, I have to admit it, far worse than Feminist Frequency. Yeah. Feminist Frequency is a better person than Candy KL10. I kind of miss him though, I admit that, I kind of miss him, with all the racist, homophobic comments. You guys would have flagged him down years ago. So why beat up around the bush? This is Candy Kale's 10 video on me, one of the very many videos on me. The Atheist Games turns out to be not an African. Somehow my assumption is wrong. First of all, do I even look fucking African to you? I'm asking my fans. Do I look African? No, I'm, I'm not African. I'm not brown either. Tan maybe, but not fucking brown. Second of all, I only mentioned you being a fangirl from Texas because the only thing I can come up with because you had, you, you didn't show your face at the time when I met you, is that I had to go by the comments. And you sound exactly like a stupid fangirl from fucking Texas. Just like his assumption is wrong about the whole girl from Texas. I am not from Texas, you stupid brown fool. I am from Alabama. I been knew you were fu from fucking Alabama the moment that you mentioned that you're from f Alabama. I admit that you were from Alabama. I made my, I, I, I just made an assumption 
And somehow you're still with the bullshit about me making an assumption about you from Texas. You don't have to repeat yourself every fucking time, okay? I have to repeat this so many times, but you have to not listen to me. Just like I'm not listening to your stupidity, logic, bigotry of hatred that your so-called atheism kind is. How dare you, sir? Let me slap you some more. And I don't care that your Mr. Red Zion thing a deist thing. He's still a false Christian, and he always will be a false Christian. As for your Jim Prophet support thing, I don't care about the whole Jim Prophet supports the WBC at this point. Because your godfather TJ, he's the one supporting the WBC. He likes that crazy witch protester Shirley Phelps Roper and the evils of the Westboro Baptist Church. So when he says that they're better Christians, I don't think protesting dead soldiers is the way of saying that. And I don't think I would call a Bible says protest dead soldiers who defend your country. That will make you a better Christian. No. The Amazing Atheist does not support the fucking WBC, you fucking Nimrod. Alright. If he did support the WBC, he wouldn't be calling himself the Amazing Atheist. He'd be calling himself the Amazing Christian, or the Extremist Christian, or whatever the fuck. Second of all, just because he says that the WBC are the true Christians does not mean that he support their acts. Let me explain why the WBC are the true Christians because the WBC, the WBC does not nitpick the Bible unlike most Christians and at the time you weren't part of the WBC until like somewhere around last year where you decide oh you know what now I'm a member of the WBC because you know what I need to strengthen my faith yeah You don't follow parts of the Old Testament. You, 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 you say that you didn't hate gays, and yet you bring up quotes from the Old Testament. You, sir, are a big fucking fraud. I mean, now you aren't, but at the time when you made this video, you're a fucking fraud. And by the way, just because the Bible doesn't say anything about not protesting not protesting dead people doesn't mean that you can't protest dead people, okay? I don't think God even knows at the time that there was a thing called protesting. You're a stupid African fool. That's not how being a better Christian is. That's being worse Christian. And I don't care about your TJ power about the whole if you don't follow the Bible says then you're not a Christian and all thing. Well, I don't care about it. And I'm certainly will defy your godfather's will, just like I'm defying you, Mexican fool. L O stupio brancho vagina head. You, sir, are an insult towards the human race, and that is saying something. Yep. Just like you are, African fool. So, until then, I have more surprises for you, African fool. And. And oh, 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 much better. You see what I mean on how big of an insult towards the human race he is? <clears throat> the Atheist Games? is nothing but a dick-sucking slave to a white person. And I don't care that the Atheist Games is American. He's just brown. I don't see how he's American at this rate, so I need more further evidence. And I don't need his logic evidence. I'm asking some of his fans to point out. So, if he's not willingly to do it, then by all means. 
he's just fooling himself even more. So you need my fans for for uh, hold on. Let me just, let me get this straight. You need my fans to point out that I'm not African. I'm not brown. So it's uh, you're not going to accept any evidence from me. You know, you need further proof that I'm American. And you need my fans to support that claim. You know, if I had the fans, you know, if you were still here online for whatever reason, you know, still following me around and the fans today were to see you, they'd be happy to show you on how stupid and pathetic you are. But then again, I know you for quite some time and even if they did provide evidence, the most you're going to do is to, is just ignore it. You know, you never accept any form of criticism. You just see it as bashing. And to those who say he's correcting, no, you're just fooling yourself to believe in his stupid rantings, just like TJ's stupid rantings on choking down religions, including my religion that I've grown up on. I had to repeat it all and over again. So until then, see ya guys. Oh, and by the way, African Fool, God will be enjoying butt-hurting you, you sack of twos. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Well, if God's real, here's my middle finger. Oh, and by the way, African fool, I mean, <clears throat> Mexican fool, you are a coward for not making any comments on my part two video about the whole at the end thing. It's like you don't even care. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that he's using my own video thing. But nope, you're not uh, making any comments about it. Because you're a fucking moron. You couldn't make a proper video response to me even if you tried. Or even showing about it. Clearly, you're a coward. More coward than me. <laughs> I prove myself worthy to be a man, a puppet man. So... Here's my middle finger. Wait. Yes, I'm a fucking coward by making a 25 minute a, a 25 minute video response towards you, debunking you and showing on how stupid and pathetic you are. I didn't even have to respond to the whole video, just to the points that actually do matter, because you're a fucking imbecile. Your brain capacity is that of a, it's, it's, it's equivalent to that of a slug, or a sloth. <sighs> See ya guys. Once again, you demonstrate on how big of a tumor you are towards humanity. So that's my video on Candy Kale 10. And <laughs> oh boy, let me tell you the damage that this kid has done. He's flagged down pretty much every video that I've made. Has made it impossible for me to make videos until. Surprisingly, Google Plus came in, and now, for some odd reason, because Google Plus, he's not active on Google, or YouTube, or whatever. This kid is gone. Far gone. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, he's still looking at my videos. Still. And perhaps, he'll find some way to... Make a new YouTube account and start exposing himself yet again. But 
what I have to say. That if he does come back, I really do hope that any of you would actually think to flag him down. Don't even give him the light of day. People like Kenny Kale 10 should not be on YouTube. He doesn't care about criticism. He's he's basically just a kid with a gun. You know, he you make him angry, he'll shoot you. This person should not exist on this planet. Should unexist. So that is all I have to say. You know, if you see a kid like him, flag down his comments, flag down his videos, do whatever, because he's going to censor you before you get a chance to censor him. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.